Cheryl Swoops was recently on Gil's Arena and made some comments that I find to be borderline detestable because they're flat out fucking lies. If you're going to come on someone's podcast, you should at least be prepared because you knew you were going to say this. You knew you wanted to, you knew you were, you knew you wanted to say this because obviously they have you there to talk about women's basketball, right? It yeah. makes sense. So you would think that a sport that most men realistically don't give two shits about as a female who was in the hall of fame, and arguably one of the greatest women's basketball players of all time, because Cheryl Swoops was a star, would be praising these young women, these talents that are coming out of college, because they're drawing Angel Reese, Clark, all these different girls who are drawing eyes, those two being the, the, t- the main two that are drawing the eyes of the public. But let's not bullshit ourselves. Clark is a special talent. Mm-hmm. She comes on there and flat out fucking lies and says, I think when you set a record, it's only a record if you set it in the amount of games that the other person set it in. I don't think she should get the credit because if she said, you know, there was a COVID year, so she gets a fifth year and all that bullshit. Cheryl, Caitlin Clark's played four college seasons. Kelsey Plum played 139 games to set her record. Caitlin Clark has played 123. She's going to break the record in the next three games. She's averaging 32.4 points per game. And you're going to sit here on a podcast like Gil's Arena, which has 500,000 subscribers? Mm-hmm. and spread misinformation that you know is not true? Or maybe you don't know. Maybe you're just too lazy and mm-hmm. don't look it up. But if you're going to say something, at least look the shit up, memorize it, and, and not lie about somebody. If you don't like Clay, Caitlin Clark for whatever reason, and I can venture to guess to, to know why, just say it. Have the balls. Whoa, you so don't... To say it, the ovaries or whatever, to say it. To sit here and lie about this young woman is fucking bullshit. Caitlin Clark is going to break this record. She's going to smash this record. If they get to 139 games, she's going to beat this record by 300 points. And guess what? Caitlin Clark could actually come back for a fifth year because of COVID. She's not. She's the number one pick in the draft next year. Albeit she probably makes more money at Iowa than she will in the WNBA. Higher field goal percentage. Less games, higher three-point percentage. She also averages eight assists per game. That sh- then the, the, the moderator, I think his name is Josiah. Josiah? This yeah. dude says she's only played four seasons. And this woman doubles down. She doubles down. Does not admit she was wrong. She's now been called out by him. Because Gilbert, Gilbert when, when Gil was told this, he's like, yeah, I agree with you. Because, you know, Gilbert has probably never seen one woman's basketball game in his goddamn life. And only has Lexi on that show because he wants to have a female audience for for women's basketball because he doesn't watch women's basketball. Let's not lie to ourselves. Then she doubles down and says, well, Caitlin takes 40 shots a game. What the fuck are you talking about? 40 shots a game? She averages less shots than Kelsey Plum averaged in college. Why are you lying? You know, people don't like her. Why are you lying? People are automatically going to believe that she looked this up, reviewed this, and knows it to be true. But the reality is, if Caitlin Clark was in year five, the national media would have told you a thousand times already. It's bullshit what she did. She should be ashamed of herself. And to my, in my opinion, she has, she just, she lessened her, she clearly has no character, but she lessened what I thought, I, I mean, I thought she was amazing when she played, but she lessened herself in, in, in a way that you're demeaning a future star female basketball player who is going to help build your sport. Because the reality is, I have not been to a women's basketball game since the Miami Soul. And you could not pay me to go to a women's basketball game until they drop those rims to nine and a half feet or nine feet where they can start dunking the ball because the games are fucking boring. 
and you're and the one girl or the two girls, but the one main one that makes dudes watch, it's not Angel Reese. It's Caitlin Clark because she can do the shit that dudes do. Am I wrong? If you you will watch because of it, that girl, you will watch the tournament uh-huh. because of Caitlin Clark knocking down 35 foot jump shots. The game that I watched this year has been South Carolina and LSU. Oh, South Carolina, the South Carolina. I watched that game too, and South Carolina won that game, and that's a great game. But as a player, one player, you're watching that girl, and for her to shit on her like that publicly and do it and lie about it is bullshit. I'm done. 